The production process for a court like this begins uh, several months before we, you know, we, we get to this point. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually started uh, sourcing the lumber uh, and harvesting the lumber back in September of 2018, so several months ago, planning, making sure that the, the materials are sourced properly, um, that we have all the other components that are going to be required to, to assemble the, the, the court, mm -hmm. uh, but but uh, ensuring that the wood is you know is dried properly and that it is that we have a very stable product in the end, super important to us. So you know all of the um, all of the work that goes into it, several months worth of uh, planning, sourcing lumber from um, from um, one of our, our partners in northern Wisconsin, mm -hmm. uh, where most of our lumber comes from. Um, and um, and then also uh, the finishing process uh, for this court uh, was was done was handled in, in Ohio at one of our finishing partners. Um, so it's kind of a, a Midwestern theme, if you want to call it that. You know, we're we're located in the UP. Yep. Um, we've got a lot of the materials are sourced within a 50 mile radius of our mill and manufacturing facility. And then uh, we used a finisher through, from the Midwest and our company's headquarters in, in Chicago. Yep. So it's kind of a really uh, you know. It's a, it is a Midwestern kind of a thing for us. We design and engineer our, our courts to the highest standards. Um, and I think that, uh, and then we have a, a, the service side of the business, the logistics and, and the planning and all of the things that have to go into play to be able to pull something like this off. Mm -hmm. um, we ha not only have a good product, but we have a, a great support team uh, that's able to really make sure that these events come together and that the courts are, um, are, are really something that the arenas or that the teams don't have to worry about. Mm -hmm. So the color scheme kind of, it gets inspired each year by the host city. So last year was okay. in San Antonio, so it's very Texas if you want to think of it that way. Yeah. And then uh, here for, for the Minneapolis court, they did a great job of incorporating these really beautiful mm -hmm. natural kind of colors, greens yeah. and blues. The logo was to develop to, to really highlight the things that come to mind when people think of the state of, of Minnesota. If you're not from Minnesota, what do you think of? You think of lakes, the trees, and the stars, and that's uh, really a beautiful uh, kind of a rendition of the, of the Final Four logo that they came up with this year.